Have you ever seen a video online that just grabs you? One that makes your heart beat a little faster? In summer 2025, that's exactly what happened. A video went viral, spreading like digital wildfire. It showed massive American bison thundering across the landscape. The caption by a self-proclaimed animal expert made a startling claim. On July 15, 2025, these animals began a mass exodus. The implication was chilling, tapping into primal fear that animals can sense impending doom like a volcanic eruption. Just as online panic reached fever pitch, the official voices of science stepped in. The National Park Service issued a clear statement. Morgan Veras didn't mince words. Wildlife is not leaving Yellowstone in large numbers. This rumor is false. Park scientist Jeff Murphy pointed out conditions were completely ordinary. Yellowstone is one of the most intensely studied geological areas on the planet. Its volcanic system is watched 24 7 by the U.S. Geological Survey. Every tremor and ground swell is meticulously recorded. Scientists use a network of sensors, satellites, and field teams to monitor Yellowstone around the clock. They track earthquakes, ground movement, and gas emissions. If any unusual activity is detected, alerts are sent out immediately. Emergency plans are in place to keep visitors and nearby communities safe, with regular drills and clear evacuation routes. So if bison weren't fleeing eruption, what were they actually doing? According to fact checkers who investigated, the footage was recorded weeks before the false claims began. More importantly, bison weren't running out of Yellowstone at all. They were running deeper into the park. Park biologist Dan Johnson confirmed the direction of travel. Bison are constantly on the move, seeking the best grazing spots. Sometimes they run for the sheer joy of it. They were just being bison. Let's turn attention to the Yellowstone supervolcano itself. According to USGS data, the current alert level is normal. This indicates the volcano is behaving exactly as it should in its dormant state. One persistent myth is that Yellowstone is overdue for super eruption. This comes from simple but incorrect math. As the USGS clearly states, volcanoes don't follow predictable schedules. Scientists estimate annual probability at about 1 in 730,000. The magma chamber beneath the park is mostly solid. It would take hundreds of thousands of years for enough magma to accumulate. While bison aren't fleeing a supervolcano, some do leave Yellowstone for natural reasons, following ancient routes for better grazing. But beyond these journeys, a more deliberate movement represents a monumental shift in conservation. For decades, bison leaving the park were often culled. Now, many are intentionally moved as part of the groundbreaking Yellowstone Bison Conservation Transfer Program. This landmark initiative is a powerful collaboration between federal, state, and tribal partners. Its mission is to restore these ecologically vital animals to their historic homelands and reconnect Native American tribes with the animals central to their culture and survival. The program's success is tangible. Since 2019, over 400 bison have been transferred to 26 tribes, including a record 116 in a single year. For receiving tribes, this is more than wildlife restoration. It's a powerful step towards cultural revitalization and food sovereignty. The process is meticulous. Each animal undergoes a multi-year quarantine and rigorous testing to ensure it's brucellosis-free. This creates a crucial genetic safety net, as Yellowstone's bison are among the only continuously wild, genetically pure herds. Spreading their descendants protects this invaluable lineage, a testament to the hard work of biologists, veterinarians, and tribal partners writing a hopeful new chapter for America's national mammal. So we know an eruption isn't on the immediate horizon, but let's indulge in a geological thought experiment. What would actually happen if the Yellowstone supervolcano were to blow its top? The scenario is a powerful reminder of the immense forces simmering just beneath our feet. First, let's be clear. The effects would be enormous and felt worldwide, likely triggering a temporary volcanic winter that would impact global climate. But despite what you might see in disaster movies, it would not be an extinction level event. The most immediate and devastating impacts would be regional. A kill zone, roughly 60 to 100 miles around the caldera, would be instantly obliterated by pyroclastic flows. These aren't just clouds of smoke, they are terrifyingly fast avalanches of superheated gas and rock, moving at hundreds of miles per hour with temperatures exceeding 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. This entire zone would be completely destroyed, transformed into a barren, lifeless landscape. The super eruption would blast a colossal column of ash more than 15 miles high, deep into the stratosphere. Carried by jet streams, this ash would fall across the entire United States, with the thickest deposits near the source. Cities like Denver could see several feet, while the Midwest might get a few inches. This isn't fluffy snow, 
its sharp, abrasive volcanic glass that would collapse roofs, contaminate water supplies, and grind modern infrastructure to a halt. When people imagine Yellowstone eruption, they think disaster movies. Biggest myth is that super eruption would trigger extinction level event. While regional devastation would be immense, humanity would survive. Myth that we'd have no warning is scientifically impossible. We'd see dramatic ground swelling, massive earthquake swarms, gas changes. Recent years have seen dramatic volcanic activity around the world. In 2025, a powerful 8.8 .8 magnitude earthquake struck Russia, triggering the eruption of a volcano that had been dormant for over 600 years. This rare event was a stark reminder of Earth's unpredictable forces. Other eruptions, from Iceland to Indonesia, have also captured global attention, showing that volcanic activity is a worldwide phenomenon, not just a Yellowstone concern. Scientists confident we'd have weeks, months, or years of warning. Eruption would cause temporary global cooling, but not permanent ice age. 2021 NASA study suggests cooling wouldn't exceed 2.7 degrees Fahrenheit far less extreme than older estimates of 10 plus degree drops. We started with a dramatic viral video, a supposed bison exodus from Yellowstone, fueling fears of an imminent eruption. But the reality we've uncovered is far less alarming and much more nuanced. These bison weren't fleeing a catastrophe. They were simply following their ancient seasonal migration routes to find food at lower elevations, a predictable natural cycle. This stark contrast is a powerful reminder to be critical thinkers in our digital age. Sensationalism spreads fast, but the truth often lies with the experts. By seeking out data from park services and geological surveys, we can dismantle fear with facts. And the facts are reassuring. The Yellowstone supervolcano is not a threat hanging over our heads. As one of the most intensely monitored places on Earth, all signs point to normal, stable activity. The magma chamber is mostly solid rock, making it incapable of a super eruption for many millennia to come. So instead of a story of fear, we find two stories of hope. The first is the successful conservation of the bison, a species brought back from the brink. The second is the wonder of Yellowstone itself. Its geysers and hot springs are not omens, but vibrant signs of a living planet. Let's replace anxiety with awe and misinformation with education. Understanding our world is the most exciting adventure of all. Thanks for joining us on this journey through Yellowstone's mysteries and myths. If you enjoyed uncovering the facts and want more myth-busting science stories, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an episode. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Did you learn something new? Are there other viral stories or natural wonders you want us to investigate? Drop your questions and ideas in the comments below. Your curiosity fuels this channel and together we can keep exploring the wonders of our world. One fact at a time. Thanks for watching and remember, stay curious, stay informed, and we'll see you in the next video.